We've had leaked benchmarks from the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and there's now a race with Huawei to release Infinity O first. And don't forget to hit subscribe followed by the bell to stay up to date with the latest tech. So we'll start with the benchmark. Ice Universe, a fairly reliable source, has revealed a leaked benchmark of the S10 Plus using the new Exynos system on chip. Now straight away, there are a few things to go over. The resolution for a start is showing as 2280 by 1080, but this could well be scaled down. It's expected for the S10 Plus to have a higher resolution, but of course, at the same time, it could be that earlier reports were wrong. Next, the 6GB of RAM I would expect to be the lowest variant they're offering, and while people may complain and say it needs more, I'm sorry to say, but you're actually wrong. People see big numbers of RAM and now think that's what you need in the phone, but you actually don't. It's more of a marketing ploy. Your phone will only slow down if it runs out of RAM and the main advantage is for the multitasking. More RAM will score higher in benchmarks, but apart from that, there's not much real world advantage. Just to prove that point here, if we take a look at my OnePlus 6 with eight gigabytes of RAM, the usage over 24 hours and I'm only using 53% and the OS is actually only using 1.7 gig. I could have two gigabytes less RAM in this phone and it wouldn't make any difference to me. And I mean, a game gaming PC these days can cope fine with just 8 gigs of RAM. Now in terms of the actual score, it got 325,076, which is to be expected. This may actually be improved with final tweaks, but this is the Exynos 9820, which is of course an 8 nanometer chipset. The chipset will likely only be for the international market as well. If you're in North America, the Galaxy is likely to come with the Snapdragon 855 or 8150 as it may be called, and this is of course a 7 nanometer chipset. This chipset has already had its benchmark leaked and it got a score of 362,292, so considerably higher than the Exynos, but just a little bit behind the A12 Bionic. And this is another area where many have got confused claiming that the 855 is the most powerful and scoring better than the A12, but again, it's not. I'm an Android fan, but facts are facts and people are comparing the 855 single test score with the A12's average score. The average scores in benchmarks is an average score and will always be much lower as demonstrated here. We compare a single 855 to a single XS Max and you can see the average scores listed below and it's very close, but the A12 does score slightly higher. And finally, there's no verification that these benchmarks are real, but Ice Universe has been a credible source in the past. We've also had teasers from Huawei showing us a bezel-free phone with the Infinity O cutout. It's expected to release in December, and Huawei actually told The Verge that more information would be revealed on December 3rd. The A8S is set to be Samsung's first device with Infinity O, and there's a little bit of conflicting information on this. Sam Mobile are reporting a January release, but Ice Universe is stating December. But it's expected that both the Huawei and Samsung offerings are going to be using LCD screens. This still means that the S10 range should be the first AMOLED displays with Infinity O. And as well as these leaks, we've also had a screen protector leak for the A8S on Weibo. Again, there's no way to verify this and realistically, front facing cameras can still perform well behind tempered glass, so a hole in the protector is not necessarily required. But as always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Who do you think is gonna bring us Infinity O first? And what do you think of these Exynos benchmarks? Personally, I think Huawei may be a little more motivated to release the Infinity O first, so theirs may be rushed forward. But as always, thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.